the world is almost entirely solar powered already. Um, if, if the sun wasn't there, we'd be a frozen ice ball at three degrees Kelvin. For the first time, we're going to buy solar under five cents a kilowatt hour, and that puts solar competitive with wind, competitive with natural gas, competitive with coal, and competitive with nuclear. In fact, it beats them all. And that's a revolution. The company that brought you the iPod and iPad is shrinking its carbon footprint, building the nation's largest privately owned solar farm to run its data center in Maiden, North Carolina. Not only are our buildings becoming much more energy efficient, they're starting to generate their own power on site. If I put solar on my rooftop and uh, when the sun is shining intensely and the solar panels are working to their optimum, my meter is actually running backwards because I'm, I'm generating more electricity than I'm actually using. And, and even if a, a household can't afford to buy expensive solar panels, there are so many companies out there where you can lease the panels, no money, no upfront front, costs, and it actually is cheaper on your I utility. Wanna, I Pay zero upfront. We will install panels on your roof. So let's get down to the dollars and cents of it all. Here's your old electric bill. And here's your new one. Plus what you'll pay to Sungevity to lease solar panels. Together, it's less than your old electric bill. Solar City purchases and installs the panel on, on the roof and then charges the uh, homeowner or business owner uh, a monthly lease payment, which, which is less than the utility bill. Our power the, the, that we plug into is centralized in this country, mm -hmm. centralized in utilities, and it means the political power is centralized Absolutely. in utilities. And the radical promise of solar power for a Tea Party activist like Debbie or a, a lefty like myself, right, is decentralizing that power so that Southern Company isn't just controlling the power, people actually are controlling their own fate and power. Of the hundred billion dollars in renewable energy investment in Germany today, 50 percent of that is owned by people like you and me. The most important thing that's happened in the renewable energy business in the last 10 years has been the precipitous drop in pricing for solar, especially utility grade solar. The solar thing in particular makes sense to a lot of conservatives back home. And we believe that this giant utility monopoly deserves some competition and consumers deserve a choice. You know, it's I, just that this, simple. This is music to my ears. I think this is where we, you and I can agree about monopolies. Because when we talk about the energy market, we are not talking about anything that looks anything like a free market. It's not the market for cars, the market for shoes, the market for soda pop. In Georgia, right, you've got one company basically controlling your electricity and consumers have no say in where that electricity comes from. You are absolutely correct. Um, because renewable energy offers the opportunity not only to offset climate damaging gases from fossil fuel generation, reduce the risk from nuclear power, they also have this other possibility of changing the way we develop and own our electric power system. You're kind of building a distributed, a new type of distributed utility. I, I, exactly. What, what it amounts to is a giant distributed utility. Um, and it's, I think it's a good thing because utilities are, have been this monopoly that, and people haven't had any choice. So effectively it's the first time you've, there's been competition for this monopoly because the, the, the utilities have been the only ones that own those power distribution lines, but now it's on your roof. So I think it's actually very empowering for homeowners and businesses. In Europe, we now have millions and millions of small players, families, farmers, rural and urban uh, residents, small businesses, cooperatives that are actually producing a huge amounts of solar and wind generated electricity at near zero marginal cost. Two weeks ago on Sunday, and I want everyone to hear this, 75% of the electricity that powered all of Germany, and Germany is the most powerful economic capitalist market system in the world per capita, 75% of that electricity that powered all of Germany two weeks ago with solar and wind. Then when we have something like lots of wind um, creating a lot of supply, that is more than the demand and so prices can fall negative. And that's why that day the actual prices for electricity on the German grid went to negative because the, the electricity was free. As we all know, we've seen quite high wind speeds over the last few weeks. So it, it is generally just a winter phenomenon. Um, no, it can happen in summer as well, whenever there's a lot of solar um, right. energy, because 
Germany has been really adding a lot of renewable capacity. They have very ambitious 2020 targets. And so it's happening more and more. It could be for some hours, which is the intraday market. But these right. prices we've seen are for a whole day, for a day ahead, which is um, happening more and more as well. In fact, the companies are actually paying people to take electricity off them. We said to the power companies, look, millions of people are now generating their own green electricity. Pretty soon, tens of millions. Within 20 years, hundreds of millions of buildings, offices, factories, and neighborhoods are going to create their own green electricity on the same curve uh, that we've seen with uh, computing. Well, the old model's going to not work anymore. And, the, and smart utility executives are going to start finding different ways to make their companies profitable. This is what happened with file sharing and music. This is what happened with Wikipedia. This is what happened with YouTube when millions of small players come together and they create the uh, software and the connections, their power overwhelms these old-fashioned nuclear and coal-fired and natural gas plants. It isn't, even, it isn't even a competition. This is a fundamentally different type of power plant and it can spread much more rapidly than any of the other types of power production that we've seen in our history. That makes it a truly disruptive technology. We said to the power companies, your job is no longer to create power, fossil fuel and nuclear power. Your job, your new mission, will be to manage the energy internet because that's a technical proposition. Historically, electric utilities have survived by selling electricity in volume, and the more they sold, the more money they made. And what we said to them is, here's your new business model as a utility and power company. You need to sell as little electricity as you can sell. The less electricity you sell, the more money you're going to make. After all, people don't really want to buy electricity. They want the services that electricity provides, heating and cooling for their homes and their refrigerators and their computers and so forth. So the electric utility has to get into the business of providing those services by integrating and coordinating distributed generation located on the buildings, and in other locations throughout the system. But the old model of a generator selling to a, cons to a customer, that single relationship is going to change because the customer is going to be able to produce their own energy. And you really picture a future where a majority of power in America, like within yeah. what, a decade or two, or within no, your no, lifetime, no, no, is, is, is no, no, solar? Um, I, I'm extremely confident that solar will be at least a plurality of power and, and most likely a majority. Um, and I, I predict it will be a plurality in less than 20 years. I'd say I, I made that bet with Def someone. The definition of plurality is? It, it, more from solar than any other source. Ah.